Good evening, everybody, on this really busy Thursday night for the KHQA sports team, which has already fanned out across southeast Iowa and western Illinois to bring you all of the regional volleyball. But tonight we're going to talk about high school football. In the state of Illinois, 256 teams make the playoffs, and it's very possible that Alane West was qualifying seed number 256. All that matters now, though, is that the Chargers are in. They've got a shot to be something really special, a 5-4 and four team that is far beyond any 16 seed we've ever seen before. Fair warning to Georgetown Ridge Farm. You know, the question marks for us aren't out there. Uh, we know that the quality of play is going to be high in the playoffs. We expect that of our opponent this Saturday, but we've already seen it in moments in Quincy, Notre Dame, and Central, and... Uh, in Tolono, so uh, you know our boys know where they have to play, um, what level, how much intensity, and uh, they're they're excited. And perhaps they should be. The battle-tested Chargers just dropped 44 points, albeit in a loss, to a bona fide 3A powerhouse. And IW's opponent this week has shown susceptibility in its two losses to high octane offenses. I, I feel like we can score on just about anyone. You know. Uh, We've gone through some growing pains where teams have loaded the box. Moments did it to us. Q&D did it to us. Um, you know, and uh, they made us work through it. And I feel like now, you know, teams load the box. We can throw the football or we can run. It's, it's really going to be whatever they give us. They're big. Uh, they're extremely physical. Uh, they've got some very athletic football players. Um, they're enthusiastic. You know, that's something that you see on film, the running around running around the field and uh, being excited about the game. Um, you know, they, they start off in a flurry. You're going to have to weather their early start, and uh, they're going to be at home and fired up. And reportedly, the Buffalo were very fired up to draw Illini West as their opening round opponent. Lyle Klein in kind has no doubt his team will match that enthusiasm on Saturday. I love the, the giddiness that they get when they get out on the field. They're, they're, they're fun to be around. They're good to coach. They do everything we ask them to do. They study their films like we ask. Um, they're intelligent. You know, this team can do the, the really, the, they haven't reached their full potential yet. Hopefully that's what we're going to hit in the playoffs. But I like their chances against anybody. Some college basketball news now, and both preseason polls are out in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. On Wednesday, Marty Bell's Hawks were picked to finish third in the GLVC West behind league favorite Drury and Umsel. And today, Jenny Garber's Lady Hawks were accorded the two spot in the GLVC West behind Drury. The Lady Hawks did receive one first place vote. Hawks Hoop Fest is on campus at Pepsi Arena tonight starting at 6 o'clock. And coming up tonight at 10, we are loaded with volleyball and college basketball highlights. We'll see you then, everybody.